Hey guys, so I'm here on my day off and uh, we're doing some testing. Uh, I've been testing, trying to get these to figure out exactly how to print these just right. And I think we've got it dialed in. Um, more than anything, it really just comes down to calibrating your printer. Uh, some of these resins that go in the mouth long term, you just really need to have it calibrated perfectly because we're looking for a really tight offset. Um, so in the software, the default software has a 0.1 millimeter offset. Um, if you want to dial it down even more to have it really tight, I can see possibly doing it down to 0.05, but uh, the 0.1 will work. And if you look closely, um, there's the notch on the tie base, and there's actually a notch cut in there. You probably won't see this video, but it catches in there. There's a little bit of play. That's okay, because this is not going to undergo load as far as chewing on it so much, um, not more than any other healing abutment. But all we want to do is occupy that space. If you were to print it smaller and you could press it in there, you might get to skip cementing entirely, which would be awesome. But that's going to be a little bit more tedious. You might get to the point where you can't fully seed it, and that can be frustrating. So most users, all they're going to do is they're going to have a bunch of these sitting around. They could be removed from the, as I call it, a card of them. You could have them removed just of a bunch of them, um, or you could have a, a card with a bunch of the same one, the same premolar, same molar. Or this is an assorted one, various different sizes. I've been kind of playing around, that's why some of them are already gone. So to do it, the same way I cement a crown on a tie base is I'm going to take my full book, well, I would use crown and bridge cement normally, which I think you could, you, I know you could use, but I think we could also get with just flowable. I would use like a bulk fill flowable. This is Tetric uh, Evo Flow. That way the light can cure through it pretty easily. The trick is going to be to place the cement on the top rim, okay? Because then as we slide it on, it's going to extrude out the bottom of it where we can wipe it and be done. So if you're in, you know, you're in your procedure, you're ready to place one, or you do this ahead of time, simply express a little bit of flowable or cement right on the top rim. And then insert it. I'm going to do this lower premolar. Pop it off. I'll remove the rest of the supports after I get it on there. Take a cotton roll. Wipe off the excess. And cure it. So at this point, it's going to lock on there. Um, since we're not actually bonding it to the tie base, um, when we want, we can take a pair of crown rovers and just split it. Uh, you might take a burr and cut a couple notches in it and then a crown splitter to, to separate it. Uh, however you want to do it, you're not going to truly affect the tie base. You could use it for your final restoration. Uh, and that's what I have done quite a bit in the past um, uh, with different methods of temporary healing moments. So once this is cured, solid. And so I can then polish everything off and I mean, it's screwed on there right now. But yeah, this is all ready. So pretty darn quick. Just take your tie base, insert it with some cement, cure it, and you're done. All right, hope that helps.